Here's a headline that uh, you can expect made the blood in the veins of uh, chocolate spread producers run cold. Suggestion that palm oil used in their product is linked to cancer? We better take a closer look at this. Well, the study that they refer to was actually a legitimate study published in Nature, one of the uh, prime publications in the world in terms of science. And it was a study that was very, very well done and very interesting. However, what it showed was nothing like what that headline suggested. First thing to understand is that this study was done on mice. And mice are small. Humans are not large mice. So what did the researchers do in this case? They implanted some cancer cells into mice and fed one group of mice palm oil, another group olive oil. Then once those tumors grew, they transplanted the tumors into other mice who were then fed normal diet. Well, it turned out that the tumors that came from the palm oil fed mice actually worked more efficiently in spreading. That is, they resulted in more malignancy. Uh, they spread all over the body. Again, this is something that was done in mice, and there was no evidence at all that originally palm oil would cause cancer. The cancer cells were implanted into these animals. So this obviously caused a lot of concern in manufacturers of products like Nutella because they are made with palm oil. However, of course, that study has nothing to do with the, the palm oil. There's no suggestion that palm oil can cause uh, cancer. Indeed, the palm oil is the most widely used vegetable oil in the world. And there are some issues with palm oil. For example, deforestation, because in order to grow the palm fruit, you need more palm trees. And in Indonesia, where many of these plantations are, they're burning down forests in order to plant more trees. That's a problem because orangutans, for example, uh, have their habitat uh, destroyed. So that certainly is, is a concern. But in terms of health, palm oil is not a significant problem. Indeed, the reason that it is so widely used now is because it doesn't contain the trans fats that people are so concerned about. Originally, when we found out that butter wasn't so healthy to eat and we switched to margarine, the margarine was made with hydrogenated vegetable oil. And that resulted in these notorious trans fats. And those were, in fact, we went from the frying pan into the fire. They were worse for heart disease. So then came the switch to palm oil, which although has saturated fat like butter, it doesn't have quite as much. So there's really no health issue with, with palm oil uh, to connect it in any way to, to cancer. So one has to be very careful in terms of you know, reading scientific studies. And uh, while certainly it is true that palm oil is very widely used, I mean, the laurel alcohol that is found in, uh, that can be produced for palm oil is used in all kinds of things. In toothpaste, for example, when you see sodium laurel sulfate, it comes from uh, palm oil. And sometimes you will see on labels of foods such as this, modified palm oil. Just, that just means that they separated palm oil into different fractions and then recombined them to get a more liquid or a more solid version. That's what modification is. It had nothing to do with hydrogenation. So as far as eating stuff like this, I don't worry about it. But uh, of course, because it is still fatty, I eat it in limited amounts.